Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2008 Chinese science fiction and drama movie called CJ7. The movie begins with a poor nine-year-old boy named Dicky who somehow manages to attend a fancy private school in Hong Kong. As soon as Dicky arrives at school, he is approached by Ms. Yuan, the only teacher who cares for Dicky. He reveals to her that his mother has passed away and his father is a very busy person, that's why no one takes care of him. Dicky is often bullied by his classmates, especially naughty boy Johnny, whose hobby is to mock poor or weak students. One of the teachers doesn't even want to get close to him as the boy is always covered with dirt. He scolds the boy when Dicky attempts to help the teacher pick up his pen on the floor. After school, Johnny shows off his new toy, CJ1, which he claims is a very limited edition robot. The cocky boy and his friends even dare to make fun of the biggest girl in the school. During the PE class, Dickie gets punished alongside the girl since both of them don't have proper shoes for sport. It seems like the girl has a crush on Dickie. The scene then moves to a construction worker who turns out to be Dickie's father, Chow T. He works hard to earn money every day so that he can keep sending his son to that expensive school. Later that night, Chow returns to his house, which turns out to be a partially demolished house. He brings his son an old electric fan as a surprise, but unfortunately, it doesn't work at all since it was taken from a junkyard. Despite being a poor family, Chow always teaches his son to be a decent guy, telling him not to steal or take something that doesn't belong to them. The next day, while Dicky is watching cartoons from a store's TV, suddenly a breaking news shows up. The interviewee on the TV claims that an unidentified flying object has just flown over him and crashes. Afterward, Dicky goes to a toy store where he begs his father to buy the same toy as Johnny, CJ1, but Chow tells him to put it back as he cannot afford it. The boy insists, so Chow has to beat his son up in front of other customers. The upset Dicky runs away and coincidentally comes across Ms. Yuan, who is passing by. She asks the father whether it is possible for her to visit their house, but Chow politely declines the request. That night, he returns to the junkyard to find new shoes for Dicky where he doesn't realize that a huge UFO is flying away in front of him. He finds a green orb left by the alien and brings it home to cheer up her son. At school, Dicky immediately shows his new melon toy to his crush, Fanny, who is not amazed at all. Not long after, Johnny and the boys confront Dicky. He claims that the melon toy is much better than CJ1, thus he decides to name it CJ7. Offended with the statement, Johnny summons a huge boy who tosses him away effortlessly. The following night, the melon toy suddenly starts moving which makes Dicky terrified and throws it away, assuming it is a ghost. He freaks out and cannot stop screaming, causing his dad to get angry and lock him in a wardrobe. The melon toy magically emits a very bright light, turning the wardrobe into a space view while transforming into a cute alien creature. Dicky befriends the alien, which he calls CJ7 from now on. While having fun with the alien, he discovers that CJ7 has the ability to restore the rotten apple. The following day, Dicky tests out CJ7 power by forcing it to fight with a fierce dog, which gets defeated easily by the alien. Upon arriving at school, CJ7 fabricates advanced cool sunglasses with micro-flying cameras which allows Dicky to copy other classmates' answers. Johnny is distracted by the cameras and accidentally hits the teacher with the ruler. Soon after, the test result is announced and for the first time in his life Dicky gets 100, which shocks the entire class. CJ7 also creates a pair of boots for Dicky which allows him to surpass his PE teacher's personal record in high jump sport. The boots also make Dicky excel in several sports, including swimming and football. Since Dicky has caused a lot of mess in the school, the teachers call the police to arrest him, but he uses the shoes to fly high towards the sky where he spots a cloud forming as CJ7. He falls down and suddenly wakes up from the dream. However, CJ7 is real and he is optimistic that he will also excel in real life with CJ7's help, which makes his dad confused. CJ7 rebattles the fierce dog in real life, but this time CJ7 is powerless and both of them get beaten up badly by it. At school, Dicky demands CJ7 to create the same glasses as the one he used in his dream, but it seems like the alien doesn't understand him and gives him a poop instead. At the exam, Dicky is clueless because he didn't study the night earlier. After class, he expresses his disappointment towards the alien by drowning it in the toilet. The boy then desperately orders CJ7 to give him the magic boots for PE class, but CJ7 fires poop projectiles towards him for revenge. During the PE class, he gets sprayed by the gardeners as his body and uniform is full of dirt while the entire class laughs at him. To make things worse, the teacher scolds him, saying he is a disgrace for the fancy school. 
After school, Dickie lures the terrified CJ7 from the tree while saying some sweet words to calm him down. However, as soon as it shows up, he captures the alien with a plastic bag and immediately throws him to a trash bin. He blames CJ7 for the embarrassment he received earlier, but later he realizes that he has made a mistake and runs back to save him from the bin. However, he finds that the trash bin has been emptied by a garbage truck. He attempts to chase the truck, but it is already too far. Dicky returns home and feels remorse for throwing CJ7 away, but when he discovers that the alien comes back to the house, he immediately runs to it and apologizes, telling it how much he misses the alien. Chow is confused after he finds out that his son and CJ7 know each other. Dicky admits that CJ7 is a high-tech toy and was given to him by one of his friends at school. The curious Chow squeezes the toy and is amazed with its flexibility while CJ7 writhes and squeals in pain. After that, Dicky confesses that he was lying saying that the toy was from the melon toy Chow gave earlier to him. Still that evening, CJ7 is concerned with Dicky and Chow's poor situation, so it gets up and attempts to fix the broken electric fan with its magic. Its antenna emits some kind of electric waves which restores the broken cables. The electric fan is working again, but it seems like the repairing process has drained most of CJ7 energy as the antenna becomes red. Next morning, Dicky brings CJ7, who looks tired and exhausted, to school again. Upon arrival, Johnny and the gang spot CJ7 in his backpack and forcibly take it out of it. CJ7 attempts to run away from the boys, but gets caught by Johnny at the end. The bullies try to examine it with sharp tools, but CJ7 is just too elastic to be cut off. Dicky breaks free and attacks Johnny, but he summons the big guy again. Thanks to Dicky's kindness, the giant girl shows up and the duel between two giant students begins. The girl eventually wins the battle and all of them are being punished for causing chaos. The teacher demands them to tell him what was happening, but none of them responds to him. When the teacher walks away, CJ7 appears from the bushes. The boys interact with it and are fascinated with its ability to perform facial expressions of what they are saying. Dicky then thanks Johnny for not reporting about the alien to the teacher. Meanwhile, the giant students reconcile. The scene moves to the construction site where he shows off to his co-workers that his son got 100 in a test. The boss grabs the paper and turns out that Dicky actually got zero, but he added 10 before the zero to make it look like 100. The boss accuses his son as a cheater, which enrages Chow. He attempts to hit the boss, but gets beaten up by him instead. The boss also fires him from the job for attempting to rebel. Chow returns home angrily and confronts Dicky. The father is disappointed with his son's attitude and decides to take CJ7 away from him, saying that he has to work hard if he wants to play again. Chow challenges Dicky to get over 60 in an exam and if he does, he will leave him alone. The following day, Chow arrives at the school to deliver a lunchbox to Dicky. He meets Ms. Yuan, who offers herself to come to their house to help Dicky study for the upcoming exam. Before leaving, Chow expresses his gratitude towards the caring teacher. Long story short, Dicky fulfills his promise with his father by getting 65 in the recent exam. The father returns to the construction site and apologizes to his boss. The boss also admits his mistake and accepts Chow back as a site worker while giving him a bonus salary. While working, Chow forgets to attach his safety belt and one of the gas cylinders falls off the building. Its rope traps Chow's leg, causing him to fall down with the gas cylinder. He manages to hold on for a moment until the mesh netting he's holding is torn apart and he finally free falls to the ground. Dicky is informed about the accident and immediately heads over to the hospital, but unfortunately, the father passes away in the hospital. Ms. Yuan brings Dicky back to the house where she informs him that the father has passed away. The boy bursts into tears and pushes the teacher out of the house. He keeps crying, hoping that his father will come back the following morning. Meanwhile at the hospital, CJ7 comes out from the bag and feels sad when it sees Chow's dead body. The alien uses its remaining energy to resurrect Chow. In the morning, Dicky wakes up, finding his father sleeping next to him like nothing has happened. He immediately hugs him in tears and promises him that he will be a good son from now on. They then find powerless and exhausted CJ7 inside the bag. A few moments later, the orb detaches from its antenna and gradually disappears while CJ7 suddenly transforms into a doll form with crossed eyes. Assuming that it's out of battery, Chow attempts to use electric shocks and inject liquid toward the alien, but nothing works. Chow and Dicky mourn, but since then, Dicky becomes more motivated to study harder. The new term starts soon and everything goes back to normal. The giant boy falls in love with the giant girl while Chow also develops more serious relationship with Ms. Yuan. Dicky wears a CJ7 doll as a necklace, 
hoping that it will come back to life someday. At the end of the movie, the UFO returns to Earth and Dickie is surprised when a horde of CJ7 with various colors comes out, running towards him. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.